Did you know you can take any note in Evernote and turn it into a web page? It's easy, and today I'm going to show you how. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Now, the example that I'm going to show you today is my most common use case, preparing a handout for a presentation. Now, I learned years and years ago that when you prepare a paper handout, you either run out or you duplicate far too many. With a digital handout, you don't have those problems. And in addition, you can make changes right up to the last minute. In fact, you can also make changes after the presentation is over and you don't have the time and expense of all the duplication. Finally, you don't have to lug around a box of handouts to take to your next presentation. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is an actual workshop handout. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. What you see here is the top portion of my handout. And what I did was to take a new note in Evernote and just simply get started. Because it's in Evernote, I can access it and work on it from any device. It's saved in an Evernote notebook called Workshops. So I have the handout on my Evernote account, but how am I going to get that digital handout to the audience members? Well, the next step is the one that turns this into a web page, something with a link where anybody who has the link can access the website, in this case, a handout. So I'm going to click the share button in the upper right corner. The next screen presents two options. Share with is for the times where I want to collaborate with another person or an entire group. I can grant certain rights to view and other people can have rights to edit or even edit and share. But in this case, what I want to do is create a link. Anybody with the link will be able to view the handout. To do this, I click Publish to Web. Evernote automatically creates the link to click. I copy it. Anyone who has the link will be able to access this handout. And if the person is an Evernote user, clicking the Save Copy to Evernote button in the upper right corner saves that note into Evernote. That note now becomes part of that person's Evernote account. It's a copy, just like if that person laid a, a, a printed handout on a Xerox machine. They could do anything they want to with that copy. They can edit it, and it doesn't mess up the original. They can add to it in anything they want to. So a person with an Evernote account makes that copy their own, and it's fully editable. Now, what about the person who does not have an Evernote account, or the person who doesn't necessarily want to save that into their Evernote account. Well, if they simply hang on to the link, just like you would save any URL for any website, hang on to that link, and it takes the person back to that handout. And one, one nice feature is, if I improve that handout later, the URL stays the same. And anybody who accesses it sees the latest and greatest version of that handout. Now, if the person is using something other than Evernote and they want an editable copy, very simple, just like any website, highlight, copy, paste it where you want it. One step and, and you're there. And now you can edit the text in Word, Google Docs, Notion, wherever. Now let's talk about the issue of communicating that link to other people. The thing about an Evernote link is it's, it's very long. It's not something that anybody is going to want to key into their keyboard. And what I'm going to show you in this next step is my own little technique for handling this kind of situation. All right, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my handout. I take that long link and I'm going to make a shortened link and a QR code that takes people to the handout. So that I can now say to people, go to bit.ly slash frankbuck203, and that's all in lowercase, and they get the handout. 
Putting the QR code at the bottom of the handout allows attendees to share that handout with others who may have missed the session or missed the link and somehow didn't get the handout. All they have to do is pull up the handout on their phone or laptop and let the other person scan the QR code. That person now sees the handout on their phone. So how do I make the shortened link and how do I get the QR code? For that, let's go over to bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y dot com. Create yourself a free account. And then in the upper left corner, click the Create New button. Paste the long link in the destination box. And then look for the little blank that says Custom Back Half. See, Bitly is going to create that link for you. But you can put anything you want to into that little back half portion. So it might be your name followed by a, a numbering sequence like I did. Bitly will also let you create a QR code. Click the Create New button. Choose QR code. Paste the link. Click the Design Your Code button. When you're finished, the screen will display your code and give you a button to download the image. You can now copy that image and paste it into your handout, just like I did. Now that you know how to create those handouts in Evernote, think about how you could make the handout look even more attractive. Experiment with the insert button in the Evernote note editor. You might insert a quote to help a certain part of your handout stand out. It's easy to create headers using the slash command, a slash followed by H1, H2, or H3 inserts a large, medium, or small header. I'll never forget the morning that I was reviewing a handout for a presentation that I was doing several hours later. I had an error, and it was a pretty big error right there in the title of the handout. So had this been a pencil and paper handout, this would have been a huge problem. And even in the early days of digital handouts for me, correcting the mistake would have meant fixing the original Word document, saving the changes, uh, telling Word that, yes, I want the new version to replace the old version, then saving it as a PDF, and again saying, yes, I want the new version to replace the old version, hoping I've good, got a good internet connection, going to my website to the file section, uploading the new PDF, and okaying that I can, it's okay to, to let the new one replace the old one, saving it, oh gosh, it's a few steps. But with Evernote in the way that I've done it for the last more than 10 years now, it's a matter of just looking at the error on my phone, tapping on it, fixing it, and it's saved. It couldn't be easier. It's not only saved there, it's saved everywhere. And if even after the workshop is over, I find a typo or there's something I want to do to improve that handout, pick up my phone, tap, handle it right there in the note, and everybody that has the link has the latest and greatest version. Spend your next presentation. Are you going to create paper handouts and duplicate them for everyone? <laughs> it's a much easier way. If you're an Evernote user, create a new note. And you have your handout. Publish it to the web and create yourself a short link and a QR code. That's all there is to it. If you like what you see here, you're going to love what's on the website at frankbuck.org. Join the email list. I'm going to send you two free gifts within the first several days. One of them is going to get your desk clean. One of them is going to put everything you have to do in one digital place. While you're at the website, explore the wealth of information that's there. And if you're looking for a speaker for your next event, let's talk. It could be in person, it could be virtual, it could be a keynote, it could be a breakout session, it could be one-on-one -on -one coaching if that's what you like. Come over to the website, click the Contact Us button up in the upper right corner, and let's get started. 
whether it's Evernote, task management, paper organization, or anything that's going to help you get organized and make it look easy, I'm your person. Thanks for stopping by today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.